So what is wrong with eggs? Why are eggs unethical and why don't vegans eat them? Hey friends, Serena here. And first I just wanna say, I am so, so, so close to 1,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So if you haven't already subscribed, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below right now. And make sure you hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I actually release a new video. And also, I am going to be making a Q&A. So if you have questions for me, please drop them in the comments below so I can answer them. And go over and find me on Instagram at bornvegan1 because I will be having a poll or a sort of a Q&A, uh, ask me anything over there, and that will be where I engage a little bit more and where you can drop the questions that you would like me to ask in my Q&A. So make sure you do that, and let's actually get into today's video all about eggs. So one really important point when we start talking about whether this or that or any particular thing is vegan or not, is what is veganism? And veganism is a philosophy, a principle, really, and a lifestyle that avoids exploitation to animals as far as possible and practicable. So that means that this isn't just about whether it kills an animal or not. It's about whether it is exploiting them and taking something that isn't ours. So at that level, vegans simply aren't vegan and, and or, <laughs> eggs, wow, vegan. Eggs simply aren't vegan because they're not ours and we're taking something that doesn't belong to us. So now that I've said those things, which are kind of the principles I operate from, I wanna get into the actual details because those are important too and people often don't realize what actually goes on inside the egg industry. When we start talking about the conditions that chickens live in, you may be thinking, well, what about backyard eggs or cage-free or free-range? Now, I'm not gonna go into detail about all of those today, but I will address them in just a minute. But what you need to know is that even if maybe those are the eggs you occasionally buy, if you are eating out or you are ever eating anything that has eggs in them, chances are that is not where those eggs came from because 95% of all egg-laying chickens in the United States are raised in factory farms and battery cages where there are these cages really small where five or six chickens are crammed in an area so tightly that they can hardly turn around and can't you know, spread their wings. So that is the reality of how most chickens that are producing eggs are living. They have their beaks burned off, literally seared off with a hot iron, and their beaks are sensitive in the equivalent of our noses or fingertips, essentially. So imagine having that seared off without anesthesia, and their toes are clipped. And this is so that when they're crammed into these really tight environments, they can't attack and kill and harm each other as much. There are a number of other things that go on while chickens are raised for several years in these farms and horrible conditions, and that is forced molting and starvation, where water and food are withheld from them to essentially force them to continue to molt more quickly so that then they'll produce more eggs and bigger eggs more quickly. So these are all things that just routinely happen to 95% of all egg-laying chickens out there. And of course, at the end, they are killed just like all animals in our food industry are. But what if they were treated right? What if they did have more space? What if they were in someone's backyard? Or what if you buy things that are labeled free range or cage free or organic? So the first thing you need to know is that different breeds of chickens are essentially used for different things because it's a profit making system. So chickens that are going to become essentially meat are one breed that's raised to grow more quickly, more rapidly, you know, with a lot more meat on their bodies. So it's more profitable per chicken that's raised and killed. In the egg industry, on the other hand, a different breed of chickens are used that are bred to produce as many eggs as possible per chicken. In the wild, chickens often only produced 10 to 12 eggs per year, but have been genetically modified and selectively bred over many years so that they now produce essentially upwards of 300 eggs per year per chicken. This is so incredibly unnatural and taxing on their bodies that almost no matter what the conditions are that they are raised in, they will have weak bones because the production of eggs leaches calcium and minerals from their bodies to produce those eggs. So they get weak bones and fractures and they can't stand up and hold the weight of their own body sometimes and they don't live for very long, and they can't keep up that rate of producing eggs super long as well, and when they're no longer profitable, they're always still killed, because it's really not profitable to keep feeding an animal that isn't giving you something or bringing money back. 
The other thing that's important to know about these differences in breeds is what that leads to at the hatchery level. So the hatcheries are the places where chickens are bred and inseminated to produce egg-laying chickens, essentially. And so when these chickens are hatched out, half of them are still gonna be male and half of them are female. The male egg-laying chickens, essentially, obviously can't lay eggs because they're male, but they are the egg-laying breed. So they don't grow fast enough quickly, you know, they don't grow big enough fast enough to be profitable to the meat industry. So they're considered essentially useless, literally trash in the egg industry. And they're killed often two ways. One is they are macerated and ground up alive. The other is that they are thrown in trash bags and literally suffocated in giant dumpsters. But the thing you have to realize is that all eggs that you're getting, no matter what farm they came from, those egg laying chickens on those farms came from those hatcheries. So there, you are still supporting that industry and those farms are still supporting half of all day old chickens being ground up alive. So whether you're getting backyard chickens that maybe you mail ordered, or if you bought chickens at a feed store for backyard eggs, or the chickens that go to those so-called free range, cage free, organic or more humane farms are all supporting the hatchery. They are also all supporting a system where chickens have been unnaturally bred to lay an excessive amount of eggs that tax and weaken their bodies. What if, theoretically, all of those things weren't true? What if I found a rescue chicken somewhere that I was giving a home to that just happened to lay eggs? What would be wrong if I ate those? And this comes down to the fundamental principle of what veganism is about. Because veganism is not just about reducing suffering. It's not just about not, uh, you know, extra harming animals. It is fundamentally a principle of non-exploitation and justice. It's saying that we aren't going to use other animals as property, and they're not ours to do what we want with. And this entire system, no matter how well the chickens are treated, is built on the idea that animals are chattel property for us to do what we please with and use their bodies how we like. And that is fundamentally unethical and immoral in my view. And the question that I like to ask is, if we can live a happy and healthy life without causing harm to others, without eating eggs, without killing chickens, without having them at all, why not do so? That's fundamentally the question that each of us needs to be asking ourselves with everything we're doing. And scientifically, we have absolutely no need to eat eggs. I am, you know, in my 20s and I have lived my entire life without eating eggs. The cholesterol in eggs is completely unhealthy for humans and a huge increase and in risk for heart disease, high cholesterol, blood pressure. It's atrocious. It's not a health food. It's not good for us and it's not good for the animals. So I hope that answers your questions. If you have other questions and want to see more specifically about backyard eggs, which I can go into more detail about those because I live in the Midwest and there are backyard farms and people I know personally um, that raise chickens. So it's a concept that I am also intimately aware of and connected to and I could answer questions over. So let me know below in the comments if you'd like a video about backyard eggs, just write backyard. And don't forget to drop any questions that you might have for a Q&A video. And please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to share this with other people who don't know the reality and truth about where eggs come from. They're not vegan and we don't need to eat them. All right, I will see you next week.